What's going on guys? It is the Mouse Lady here and today I'm going to be doing a very quick tutorial on how to install core pads or any aftermarket feet on a mouse or any mouse. So the example mouse that I'm going to be doing this, doing this on today is the Logitech G Pro X Superlight and I do obviously still have the stock feet on. So this is going to be really quick just to sort of help you avoid errors that I see people making from time to time. So the tools that you're gonna need in this video, if any, are just going to be some basic tweezers, which I have for my iFixit kit. And some alcohol pads, which come with your core pads. You can get your core pads from lethalgaminggear.com. And if you don't have tweezers, there's this nylon tool that you see Bearded Bob use a lot. And if you don't have any of that, then just use your nail, I guess. So one of the very first things, so obviously turn your mouse off, if that's not obvious. So the super light sort of has, you know, the puck and everything underneath. So the very first thing that you want to do is you can see on the bottom of the super light, it has sort of these, I guess, crease right here for like tweezers or your nail to go in. That's where I put the tweezers, but I'm going to show you guys a really, a mistake that I see done really often with Logitech mice. Um, so I'll try to do it. I'll fast forward it, but I'll show you guys what I mean. So I finally got the top layer off, as you can see right here. So this is the top skate. And if you look at the mouse right now, you can just, you could still see that, you know, there's still black adhesive right here, but it almost, it almost doesn't look like it's adhesive. So this is actually incorrect. So you want to take this off too. And I, I notice a lot of people don't know that there's a second layer of adhesive right here. This is why you develop liftoff distance issues. Um, so the basic rule of thumb is if you don't see the screws on like any part of the mouse after you take the feet off, you're not quite done yet. So I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I finally took the other layer ad of adhesive off and as you can see, you can see screws on the bottom of the mouse. So that is how you know you are good to go. And just for reference, Here's that second layer of adhesive that was just shown a second ago. You can see it on the back. And then this was the white PTFE foot that was on top of it. So if you use tweezers like I did, I just, um, I just did this as an example. Usually these come off in one piece, but if you're using your nail, you're likely going to have to peel these off one by one. But if you're using tweezers like me, they'll both come off together. So next step is just get to get the other feet off and I'll let you guys know what to do next. All right guys, so real quick, uh, before I continue, I just wanted to do a really quick uh, side note. Um, be very, if you're using tweezers like I am, be extremely careful near the sensor. Never point your tweezers towards the sensor, always point them away, uh, just in case that isn't common sense. Uh, so I just wanted to say that real quick. All right, so once you get all of your feet off, your mouse should look something like this. I still haven't taken the adhesive off on, or my stock feet yet off on the PTFE puck, but I'll sort of, I'll do that on my own time. So the next step after you get the feet off is you're gonna wanna take your alcohol pad that comes with your core pads, and you're simply just gonna wanna wipe off any sort of adhesive chunks that you see on the mouse. Even if you don't see any, you're still gonna wanna use this anyway, just to get it nice and, you know, clean, because uh, I notice um, a lot of people will ask me, you know, what the point of this step is, or, you know, why, like, why do you need to get the chunks off? Um, if the mouse foot or feet isn't completely flush with the, the insert on the mouse, you could have very inconsistent feeling like glide, and also it could feel really scratchy. So you just want to wipe that off really easily. Uh, sorry if part of that wasn't in frame, but once you get this wiped off, just wait about a minute or so for it to dry, and then we can get to putting the core pads on. All right, so it's the same exact thing with the PTFE puck as well. There is going to be that other layer of adhesive, so just make sure you get that off as well. Okay, so after, you, after your alcohol has dried out on the bottom of your mouse, you can sort of get your core pads ready now. The core pads will also, of course, come with the the PTFE puck attachments. I'm not going to be putting these on because I'm not going to be using the PTFE puck, 
but you will of course install these on but like i said i'm not going to be doing not going to be doing that so the first thing you want to do is i am going to get the top foot off first so you just want to peel it off just like any other standard by the way sorry if i'm blocking the camera so this is pretty straightforward so you just want to line it up with the bottom sort of cut out uh, these might not be a perfect fit quite yet these are sort of an early uh, development I guess you could say so as you can see these are not a perfect fit but you know it shouldn't cause any issues whatsoever I'm trying to get it to focus but my phone's really bad at that so just sort of once you get this put on you want to push down to get all the corners nice and even and then you should start you know you should be able to see it stick right in the middle there you should be able to see it in the middle and then you know the rest is pretty straightforward so just take the other part for your bottom skate get that off your little half smiley face and then again you just want to line it up and it's not going to be even so just try to or it's not going to be a perfect fit i meant to say so just try to kind of do it the best you can um so mine i just want to make sure that i have that right so as long as it's sitting in the slot, you should be good to go, which mine is. So then you're going to want to apply pressure to get it down. And then last but certainly not least, the sensor ring. So what I do is I take the whole thing off. So there's, you know, as you can see, there's going to be a circle in the middle for the, the sensor ring. So you're just going to want to pop that out without bending the sensor ring. And, you know, this part's really straightforward, so you just want to fit it onto your, where the sensor location is. And then you're good. Alright, and now we have core pads installed on our Logitech G Pro X Superlight. Uh, I hope this tutorial helped, and I'm really sorry if it was... If I blocked a lot of the footage, um, I hope to get better, you know, here on out. But uh, I hope this tutorial helps someone, and I'll see you in the next one.